attention to me, even if he's kind of listening. I feel like that attention is part of the problem. Like I can't get his attention. It definitely can be. Um, I think I think dog owners when they go out with their dogs, you also have to look at it from the dog's point of view, yeah. where. Right now, when you go out and you're expecting your expectations of, of what you're doing out in, pu out in public or in, in, in a realistic environment is for him to look at you. And then you have to take, um, you have to take into consideration and audit everything around you to say, am I more valuable? Am I more valuable? Does he have a clear understanding of what I want? And that's the question you have to ask yourself. And that's why I asked you before, is do you have a really rock solid, hey, look at me, and if he doesn't, he's going to get punished? If you don't have it, don't use it and don't apply it in reality training because it's going to confuse them even more. Okay. Because right now he's already, he's blurring you out because he's like, hey, there's a dog. And you're like, hey, remember this kind of? Don't, don't okay. give them that because it'll just it disrupt that more. So, All right. does that make sense? It does. Okay. It's, it's partially a habit because I had a dog that I could do it. Yeah. So I just, as soon as I see the same behavior, I say. hundred percent. It's muscle memory. There's no problem with that. It's just, you have to. I know, I have to break it myself yep. until. That's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Um, because then you're going to get frustrated. Yeah. You know, like what I, yep. <laughs> what I do with one, like if, if, if I worked a dog here and then I went out and worked another dog in our facility, you know, in a different kennel, I can't assume that they're on the same page. And I can't treat them that they are because they're not. And that's the same thing that like us as trainers have to deal with every day is we have to clean, like every 20 minutes, clean slate, clean slate. Forget what we learned. <laughs> it's all about what we have in front of us right now. So that's the same thing we have to do too is acknowledge and audit. Okay, this dog doesn't know what this other dog did or vice versa. And you have to just, that's how you have to deal with it. And, and also situational too. What you learned here yeah. is not going to be as applicable out there yet right. within practice, practice it will be right that i've right. noticed is i would like you to be a little bit more clear on your verbiage okay right so when you're out walking him like this and and that's why i asked you before if you had an auto sit or not because you were you, well, that i always kind of hope that he'll do the auto sit and then he doesn't and so then i give him this command. right and that's the, that's the that's, that's the gap that makes confusion Okay. Because if you're hoping something without teaching something, it's going to be frustrating for you because he doesn't know. It. That's why I asked. Yeah. Because if you have if you've taught that and you've built that foundation and the fundamentals of like, hey, when I stop, you're sitting. Yeah. That's great. But if you haven't taught him that, but that's kind of what you wish and you want. Well, we've tried and we've gotten minimal success. Okay. So he, you know, in some of the classes, he was able to do it. Right. But it didn't carry over. To yep. Long term. Uh huh. And I think just having the expectation and the significant difference again between uh, execution of, of this is what I want you to do right now because you know it versus practice. I think you're still in like a really good practice okay. mode. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I want to do is I want to take him like this and I want to just see how he is with me. And I want, I want, this is the point of view that I want you to realize what's happening okay. of what I'm seeing. Okay? okay. So you want to just sit there okay. and what I'm going to do is like, this is what's going to happen is, is say you're the other dog yeah. and he's paying attention to you because that's what he's going to do with me. And I'm just going to assume judging by what information you've told me and what information he's given yeah. that this is how this scenario is happening. So I'm you, you're the other dog. He's looking at you. And so what's happening is, is he's like, Hey, save me. But in actuality with another dog, he's like, Hey, who are you? Right? So what you're doing is you're like, Boom. So now in his mind, he's going, wait a minute. What about that? What about, what about what I'm concerned about? And I'm just like this. And then I stop. He's concerned. He starts moving. And I go, whoa. And he's like, what, what do you want me? To? But I, but there's, right? So he's conflicted because he's not, this is, this is how you're handling him. And then forward again. And he's like, okay, I'm, I'm a little confused on what's going on, right? And he's going, what do I do? Okay, so I'll, I'll end that little okay. crap show there and show you what, you what you should be doing to make okay. things clearer. Okay. okay, so what you want to do is because he's like this, Houston, heal. 
Good heel. Good heel, buddy. Good. Ah, ah. Good. Big difference. Right? Because I was giving him information that he understood. It's the first time I've ever touched him. And I was giving him really clear information of what I wanted him to do. The difference between what I was doing before to what I just did was communication. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's what you're doing is you're, he's like this on something and you're not giving him clear enough communication of exactly what you want him to do. And that's confusing him. Does that make sense? So I'm going to do that one more time. Like when he's locked on you, like you're the other dog, Houston heel, boom, that's what we're doing. Good. I turn. He's still in a heel position. Good heel. He's going, oh, this is good. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Give him a little verbal stop. He goes, oh. now what? Do you, know, do you know what I'm saying? That's what you're lacking is that relationship. And that communication is a big factor in your success with anything else around him because you're not being fair. But you're not being fair because you're not, you're not wanting to be fair. You're being fair because you just don't know how to be fair. So don't take that the wrong way if you, okay. So again, clear, clarity. And I can even do this with my body language, the same thing. Now there's, there's multiple different ways you can communicate. Good. And then I stop, he goes, oh, what are we doing, right? I take my body and I go like this. He goes, all right, we're going this way. Good. I turn this way. Now here's the test. Is if I cut this way, turns with me, I stop, just like that. And he's right on me. Yeah. Okay? Okay, break. Good job, buddy. Yep. So that's what I want you to work on. Because right. just imagine the conflict and barrier of you speaking a completely different language than what he understands. It's like, man, I really, I really love you and I want to know what you're saying, but I just don't. You have to give him information that he also knows. So, there's a, so think about it like, a, like, a, like you, have, you, you have all these things, that you, all these tools that you want to use. You got the... You got the heel, the, you know, the screwdriver, the sit, the, the hammer, all that stuff is your tools. Right. But you also need to move over and say, do I know how to use these things properly? Do we understand how to use this, all that stuff? If you can't do that, then you can't go to step two. You have to go here and go, oh, what's this? Boom, boom, heel. Okay, this is what heel is. This is what sit is. And then you say, like a ballerina learning the dance in compartments. Then you go to the next step. Say, okay, let's, let's bridge these together. Now I know how to use the heel, I know how to use the sit. How am I gonna use those together? You're gonna go heel, sit, good, okay? So my point is, is making sure that you're practicing stuff he knows. Okay, so heel, sit. Right.